We're excited about all the innovations that, that's going on because uh, we, we've been innovating since uh, the company was founded in 2012. And really the, the innovations that we've brought to uh, the, the market is number one is faster, more granular audience verification uh, for television, which also includes uh, competitive intelligence and includes cross-screen measurement between linear and streaming. But just as importantly, we measure the impact of those investments. And from an impact perspective, we focus on two areas. One is business outcomes. So we have a full, uh, fully flushed out uh, attribution solution where we connect these media investments uh, to business results, whether it's web or offline uh, or foot traffic or call center data. And then secondly, we also measure the brand impact because Working with large marketers, we know that they only invest in media for one of two reasons. One is to drive business results, and the other is to uh, impact brand perception and uh, the brand impact. So those are the only two reasons advertisers invest in media, and that's why we have created these innovations to measure all that together. Right, so there's been this big industry conversation about currencies, alternative currencies for TV measurement. Um, that are being conducted, it, it's largely a, a media side discussion, but buy side as well are testing new currencies for yep. TV measurement. What's your point of view on the multi-currency discussion? Yeah, so, so we definitely obviously support a multi-currency uh, uh, world. We think that's better for the industry. But a lot of the talk about alternative currencies has to do with just simply leveraging big data to replace the status quo and to replace the panels. And from our point of view, that's not enough. If we're really gonna go out there and create multi-currencies, we really need to show innovations in the measurement. And we think there's five different areas for innovation besides just using big data to essentially replicate what Nielsen uh, has done. Uh, that's really has been most of the focus. But for us, the, the areas of innovation are number one, cross-screen, right? That's an area that needs better currencies. Number two is speed. So the legacy measurement has been traditionally very, very slow, uh, and there's a lot of room for improvement on the speed side. Um, number three is Im impact measurement, is how do we bake impact measurement into a currency and do it in a way that's scalable and consistent and can be transacted upon. Number four is this notion of measuring ads separate than programs. That's probably a, the least talked about notion, but it's a notion that could really, really catapult the TV industry forward. Right now, everyone's measuring the programs and the ads by derivative. So the assumption is the ads always travel with the programs. But if the ads were to be measured uh, independently, then think about the value that could be brought into the marketplace. Uh, so that's one area that we're focused on. And then measuring completion rates for ads on TV in order to equivalize the measurement with digital. So to us, those are areas that excite us from an innovation perspective. You're trying to make all the advertisers cry um, <laughs> by knowing exactly how many people saw the ads relative to the programming. <laughs> um, what, uh, what is the stage of the business right now with iSpot? Yeah, so uh, we are at uh, just about 300 uh, employees. Uh, we are also just about to $100 million a year uh, in annual recurring uh, revenues. Most of our business is brand direct, about 83% um, of our revenue is brand direct, and the rest is network, sell side. Uh, and we're continuing to grow uh, very rapidly, so this year we'll post over 60% year-over-year growth. And what does 2022 look like for you, Sean? Yeah, so we're continuing our mission and focus, which is to help the world's largest advertisers become more effective uh, with their uh, TV investments across linear and streaming. So there's about 1,300 brands that spend about 80% of the spend on TV. We've got about 22% of them as clients. We'd like to, to see us get to 100% of them as clients.